everyone. We're gonna take you through our procedures so you guys all know what you're doing when we open up. Okay, so obviously you can park anywhere in the parking lot, um, and then when you're ready, you're gonna come through our athlete door just as normal. Okay, so we want you to come in. Since it's warm, we'll probably have it posted up. When you get here, we're asking that you come in and wash your hands right away. So we'll come in, make sure you got clean hands. you wash your hands, you'll head into our lounge, okay? The biggest difference, if you were listening to our podcast, you heard Coach Corian and myself tell you guys we want you to come to the gym prepared. So making sure that um, you're already dressed and prepared to go, all right? I know some of you guys are going to be coming from work, but we really are going to be limiting what's coming in and out of the gym. So the biggest thing you'll notice is the cubbies are blocked off for a little bit. Um, and that's just so we don't have to clean and sanitize every single time because we don't know what's coming in and out of your house. It just limits exposure uh, probability. So you're going to come dressed and ready to go. Try not to hang out in this area too much. Um, no storage or anything like that. So you're just going to come in, wash your hands, and then head right into the gym space. Okay, so let's head that way. We'll tell you how that works. So just to clarify, my last video there, um, going back to when you come into the gym, you can change if you're coming to and from work, okay? So you're gonna use the bathrooms or change real quick, take your bags and store those in your car for us, okay? So after you change, just take all your clothes and put them in the car for us so that they're not stored inside the gym, okay? So that'll be acceptable. Next thing you'll notice inside of our kitchenette area, we've removed um, the microwaves, the toaster ovens, the tea kettle. Unfortunately, we don't have the coffee here anymore. That's all been moved to our office. Um, and then Origin Meals took their fridge out as well too because they don't want to limit the exposure there. Um, so we don't really want anybody can congregating in this area. That's why we removed the table as well. Um, just limiting touch points, okay? Um, we will be disconnecting the water cooler. So one of the biggest things you guys are going to need to do, um, at least for the short term, is make sure you bring a water bottle with you. Maybe two if you need to, but something that closes and has a top on it, and it'll be yours as well, okay? So make sure it's all filled up. All right, okay. so when you come into the gym, um, you're going to get into your classes. Basically, we want you to fill into the boxes, okay? So you'll see that there's eight boxes in this main room, and um, there's going to be four in the back gym area, and we're going to utilize that for classes as well. Each box is 10 by 10 space with a six foot gap in between everybody, okay? So you'll have some distancing between you. Each box and station is going to have its own cleaning supplies. And the night before the workout or the, before the classes start, so if today was the end of the day, getting ready for tomorrow, we're gonna have all of the necessary equipment for tomorrow's workout in your box. Okay, so you'll show up, all your equipment will be there. If we need to exchange anything, the coach will get that for you. You're just gonna basically fill into one of the boxes that are scattered throughout the gym. Okay, so you'll make that kind of your home while you're here for class. So we expect you to come in kind of get in your box and wait. Once class is over, you're going to disinfect and clean everything you touch, everything in your box. So sweat drops on the floor, please clean that up. Anything you touch on the equipment wise needs to be sprayed off and cleaned and disinfected so the next person when they come in has a clean station to work out of and we don't have to worry about any exposure areas, okay? Um, if you are in a box here and we need the pull-up stations, okay? So if we come on over, I'll kind of explain that. Pull up stations or squat racks for any type of workout. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take the outsides of the rigs, so this side and that side. Okay, that'll get us eight spots on this room. And obviously, we have the rig on the other side. What we're going to be asking is that if I'm working on this station and the person's working on that station on the outside, we're just going to face away from each other. Okay, so this person will face out this way, and the person on that side will face towards the wall so that we we're not facing each other. We're gonna eliminate anybody on the inside of the ring, so no inside the center, okay? And if we need pull-up stations, the people on this side of the room are going to take from this side of the ring, and again, facing out, and the people in these back squares will take the spots on the back towards the wall, facing the wall as well, okay? Um, we're gonna try our best to, to kind of finagle some of this programming in the first couple so we don't get all, all conjoined and get confused, okay? But uh, that's how that's going to work. Obviously, if you touch the bars, touch the J-cups, all of this stuff, anything that you touch, we're gonna ask you to spray that down as well. That is part of your station. No sharing of equipment, okay? So if 
this is your box and this is your, your whatever, um, your pull up station and your squat rack, that's yours to use. Don't let anybody else use it until it's been cleaned out, all right? Okay, so you'll notice also that there's six feet out from the, the whiteboard. This is the coach's box. Um, so this is kind of to prevent you guys from coming in on us so we have some ample room, okay? Um, so just try to stay out of the coach box area anytime you're in the gym. Pretty much you're going to be in your box anyways, but this is just to limit and kind of help the coach understand where they need to be when they're talking to the class and kind of moving around. The coaches will be moving through the six foot areas between the boxes just to kind of make sure they're seeing everything and that we correct where needed, okay? So we'll be moving around a little bit. Um, we'll try to stay out of that. You'll notice on this side we have it extended out so that the coach can peer inside of the room here and see the other boxes, okay? So we'll be able to go through on that side as well. As far as retail goes, retail is still open. Um, you just have to tell the coach what you're taking. Okay? So all we're asking is that if you're gonna take a fit aid, you go in there, we're gonna wipe that down. Now we have to do class, that's fine. Just let us know what you take. We're gonna take this iPad down, um, again, to limit exposure. Uh, but you can take what you want. Just don't grab it and then put it back, okay? And that's all we're asking us. If you're gonna take something, if you need to see something, at least let us know that you touched it so we can wipe it down, okay? If you guys have any questions, ask me your question. All right, guys, so I know that we kind of talked about our classes and we made quotes about it, but we wanted to include it in this video as well so you guys are all aware of what we're doing. We have in-person classes. We have to add some buffer room so that people can get in and out of the gym without bumping into each other or us having a plethora of people in the gym. As of right now, starting next week, they said that the gyms can open with less than 10 people in it. So that's what we're trying to abide by, by giving these buffers. In order to do that, we do have to adjust some of the class times and finagle them so we can get the most amount of classes around the times that people want the most. So we did move the 5.30 a.m. to 5 a.m in order for us to still maintain those three classes in the morning and before people get off to work so they can get in as much as possible. So we have a 5 a.m., 6.30 a.m., and then a 9 a.m. There is a half an hour buffer, but that does not mean that we want you guys to kind of hang out. Unfortunately, we do love you. We love chatting with you guys, but we need you guys to get that equipment clean, get it set for the next class, and get out so that other people can get in. We'll also have a noon class. And then we're gonna start back up at three in the afternoon. In order for us to still be able to get four classes in the afternoon, um, instead of three, we are going to make those buffers 15 minutes in the later classes. So we're gonna have a 3 p.m., a 4.30 p.m., and then we're gonna do a 5.45. So that means our 4.30 class. Again, we love you guys, but in order to get four classes instead of three, please clean up your equipment and get out of the gym as fast as possible so that next class can get in. Okay, this gives our coaches time to overlook everything and kind of make sure that all the equipment was cleaned down and is put back properly. So we're gonna do 4.30, 5.45, and then a 7 p.m. On Saturdays, we're gonna have an 8 a.m. and a 9.30, hopefully in the park, but again, that's gonna be based on what Racine City says or if we wanna meet somewhere else. Um, but we are trying to do an in the park quad because we would love to be able to get more people together and we can spread out more when we're outside. And then we'll have 11 a.m. instead of a open gym at that time. This way we can still have three classes on the weekend as well. We will utilize some open gym times, but we're gonna have to make that small. So right now to abide by all of the city rules, we're saying no more than 10 people per class. We want you guys, like Dave said, to fill in this main room first and then utilize the extra room. Our open gym, we are gonna maintain to only eight as we're gonna keep you guys in the main room so that we can kind of monitor because it's gonna be at your own pace and things might be a little bit more hectic of when people are starting their workouts. Please remember that this time is for an hour and a half. So this might be for somebody who has maybe some extra stuff to do, but please, if you touch any additional equipment or need anything, you'll talk to a coach and you clean up what you do. So we have a 10.15 to 11.45 and then a 1.15 to 2.45. Now we're having eight people for that entire time. So we understand that we could get more, but we'd have to adjust it by half an hour or, or 15 minutes and you'd have to log into more. So that's 16 people that can come during open gyms. So I think that is plenty for during the day. 
We will still have our virtual classes at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. with Coach Shauna. So if you guys are unable to make it to the gym or feel uncomfortable coming back to the gym, just know we will be releasing our daily videos and our daily workouts along with having the virtual as well. With that, we will have virtual classes for you guys to log into. We want to kind of keep track of how busy those classes are and how who's it attending them to see if we need to add additional classes. So they will have their own specific virtual check-in online, which Shauna will then check you guys into. For those who are working out at home um, and on your own, maybe none of those times work for you and you didn't get into the gym that day, we will still utilize our at-home check-in. It will be at 8 p.m., so please, you guys have all day to be able to check into that class. At 8 p.m., the window will close, and I will go in there and then check everybody in for their workout that did it at their own pace that day. Um, Pilates will be still doing virtual through Zoom on Wednesdays at 7.15 p.m. and Saturdays at 10.15 a.m. All right, so like Corinne said, remember, they are 10-person classes, and we are asking you that you log in ahead of time. Uh, Corinne, what was the time before that we... So we have a two-hour window that it closes. So for this 5 a.m. class, you have to be logged in by 3 a.m. Pretty sure most of you can, but some of you do work third shifts so that we understand you guys come straight from working third shift. So the two hour window for every class so that we make sure that we have a proper amount of people in there. If you cannot attend a class, please take yourself out so that someone else can put themselves in there. I think with the early morning classes, that'll also help people understand the night before whether or not there's going to be room for them rather than waiting until the morning and then not knowing if they can get in. Yeah, so um, two hours before you please do not just show up and be like, oh, I forgot to log in. Um, we will ask you to leave. We are gonna be strict in enforcing that. I'm sorry that that's how we have to be because we have to regulate it. I can't just have extra people showing up. So I'm making sure that you log in ahead of time and you can log in for the entire month. So there's really no excuse. Go ahead, get in there and do it. And then if you cannot make it, the coin said, please cancel it so somebody else can get in if let's say those classes are full, especially your busier times. Busier times are those early mornings, the five and the 6.30 and then our uh, 5.45 and probably 4.30 class are usually the busier ones in the afternoon. So making sure that you give kind of some ample time for friends. As far as the 6 a.m. virtual, um, if you're not logged in by 8 p.m., by the time we close the night prior to that virtual class, um, Shauna will not be getting up to do that because she's gonna be working multiple shifts um, throughout the day. So I've already instructed her that if there is no one logged in, that class will be canceled. So if you have to go to that class, um, please log into that ahead of time. And that's why we're going to have the own virtual ones to log into so she knows exactly who's going to be coming into her workouts for her. Yep. And um, if we do experience, we don't want to have to do it, but if we experience somebody who's repetitively um, getting into classes and then not showing up, we will be having a talk with that and potentially doing a small fine of $10 or so. Um, it's not solidified yet, but we are going to be enforcing that just because now you've limited somebody else's ability to get in. Again, we understand that this is slightly smaller than our normal class schedule. We uh, apologize for that, but due to the restrictions and us trying to make a buffer between classes, we're trying to fit in as many classes as we can at the times that you guys often come in. So until things change, this will be our class schedule. Um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please don't hesitate to shoot us a message and let us know. Um, we're doing our best to try and make sure that we are as accommodating as possible and we're, we're trying everything we can. Yeah, things are constantly changing and we know we're not gonna make everyone happy and we apologize for that, we wish we could. Um, please just understand we're trying to do the best we can with the situations that we're given. So and the, the alternative, alternative would be that we don't even open up. So there is a good chance, there is like light at the end of the tunnel. At least we're being able to open back up. So we just have to make the best of that situation. And we do know that a lot of you guys are making uh, extreme sacrifices as well. Um, a lot of you, like we've said before, have mentioned that you would come to the gym maybe not every day so that those classes that are bigger, people can kind of rotate out. People are like, if there's times that I can move to a different class for the day that's less busy or do things from home you know all that stuff is greatly appreciated not just for us but your other community members because I know that you know we're all here for each other and we're just trying to make the best of all of it and we do really see you guys putting forth that effort we really appreciate it all right guys thanks for tuning in let it let us know if you have any questions <laughs>